Hi, this is Dr. Don, and a question came up about one of the problems in my stat lab. And this is uh, in Chapter 5, and we're working with the uh, standard normal um, distribution curves. And the problem says that we have a random sample, n equals 64, um, drawn for a population with a mean equal to 48 and a standard deviation equal to 32. Well, remember that we need to identify, in order to use the standard normal uh, curve, we need to have the mean and standard deviation of the sample. And what we're given is uh, are the mean and standard deviation of the population. So this is mu equal to 48 and sigma equal to 32. Well, we have 64 observations, and because that's greater than 30, which is our rule of thumb, means this is a quote-unquote large sample, we can use uh, the central limit theorem. And in that, we say you know, we know that the mean of the sample is essentially equal to the mean of the population, which means that the mean of the sample is 48, but the standard deviation of the sample is going to be different than sigma, the standard deviation of the population, because we've got a small slice of that population. So we need to adjust the sigma by dividing by the square root of the number in the sample, which would be the square root of 64. And we need that before we uh, can easily use StatCrunch to solve this. And again, I recommend that you learn to use StatCrunch. It's a whole lot faster and more accurate, potentially, than going into the tables and trying to manually extract the information and manipulate it. So let's, let's show that. I'm going to go to Question Help and click on StatCrunch. And it opens up, and I'm going to click on this little icon there to expand it into its own window, which is a, a little bit uh, easier to use. And what I'm going to do is to um, go ahead and do all of this inside StatCrunch. Now, obviously, if you've got a little calculator, you can calculate standard deviation of um, the sample by dividing 32 by the square root of 64. I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to put in my n of 64, and I'm going to get my sigma of 32, get those entered, and then I'll go to data, compute, expression, and bring up this little dialog box, the expression builder, and I'll click on build. And over here, I want to divide, so I'm going to click on that till it shows up in the uh, little uh, dialog box there, sigma. I want to divide by the square root, and you can scroll down in the functions if you don't remember it, but uh, square root in StatCrunch is just like Excel, S-Q-R-T, parentheses, I'm going to click on N until it shows up, parentheses close, and that's the formula I need to get the standard deviation of the sample. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to label this S.D for standard deviation, and click Compute. And of course, I know it's trivial, but we got a standard deviation of four. Once we know our mean of our sample, which again is the same as the mean of the population, and the standard deviation of the sample, we can click on Stat, Calculators, Normal, and we bring up our good old um, calculator here for the, the uh, standard normal distribution. It comes up uh, offering us whoops, the uh, standard normal, which is a mean of zero, and the standard deviation of one. We want to change that, and we want to put in our mean of the sample, which is 48, and our standard deviation, which is four. And so now we've uh, com converted the uh, standard normal distribution um, so that we can work with our x values. And we've got our mean of 48 and standard deviation of 4. The first question, I'm going to drop this down, is find the probability that x bar, the value in our sample, is less than 40. So we'll just put 40 in there and click on Compute, 
and we get the answer 0 0.022 and we'll round that to 0 0.023 and I think that is yeah that's the answer that they wanted 0 0.023 the next question find the probability that X is greater than 50 so we'll put 50 in here we're going to change the operators to the right hand side and again we've got that neat sketch that shows up and the probability that our x value is greater than 50 is 0 0.308 and that's going to round to 0 0.309 so again I'll drag this down and yes that's the answer the final part is find the probability that, that x bar falls between 40 and 56 so the easy way to do that with the calculator is click on the little tab there between we still have our our mean and standard deviation that did not change but we want to know between 40 on the low side and 56 on the high side and we click compute and it draws our our neat sketch again there it shows 40 and 55 and so because I clicked on between we've got the area in red there of 0.95 and that rounds to 0.955 uh, I guess let's see if that's the answer they wanted no they were 954 I guess if you look at that you know rounding don't worry about it if, if you uh, miss a little bit uh, I'll give you credit for it but 954 um, you could say that is obviously less than 0.955 and so it should be 954 but if you use the rounding rule it's going to round to 955 so, but don't worry about it we'll handle that um, you could have done this using the standard uh, we you know we can put in 56 whoops I want to use the uh, left hand side 56 is 0 0.977 uh, and 40 is 0. 023 so you can subtract the 0.023 from the 977 to get your answer but I like to use the between because it just does it so much faster so I hope this helps